I'm here today to film another one of my two week stack videos. The first one went up, but I doubt it's still up because we had some YouTube problems, but it is there and if not, I can post it again if I need to. But this is kind of different because it's a bigger stack than I had last time. Maybe. I don't really remember. Actually, I think that stack was bigger, but it's a big stack and there's a lot of books on it and I already started reading it. So I think I read like four of the books so far and I think total there's 14. I'm not sure. And also there's review books that I mix in there right now. I only have one though and it's an ebook and so I don't have any way to show it to you, but you can keep an eye out for a review for that. It should be going up pretty soon. So let's get started. The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. I already read this one and I really liked it. I gave it four or five stars. I don't really remember. Probably five, but maybe four. I don't know. But I really liked this one. I wanted to read it forever and I never did. And then I got it one day. just like bought it randomly and I really liked it. It was really good. I should have a review up. Maybe. Fallen in Love by Lauren Kate. This is the only fallen book I didn't have, and when I was at her signing, I decided that I want to get something signed, so I got this one, and I got it signed, and I already read it, and it was pretty good. I liked it, and I don't think I'm going to review that one, but it was really good. I liked it, and if I would review it, I would give it five stars. Has Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. I know you can see that there's some bookmarks in there, but I already read this one. Um, I just haven't taken the bookmarks out yet. It was really good. I loved it. And it's signed. It looks a retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. And I know Marissa absolutely adores that book. And now so do I because it was so good. I review should be going up soon. And I so far Jackson Pierce is looking pretty good because I have only read two of her books. And I love them both with all of my heart. I have an arc of 10 by Gretchen McNeil. This one has bookmarks in it too. I already read this one. It's just came out in September. This is what I was reading the other day, and it was so good. I loved it so much. I uh, probably didn't give it five stars because I loved it. It's so creepy and so unlike anything else that I normally read, and I just I loved it. It's so good. Well, there's a lot of people out there that want to read it or are reading it, and I hope everyone's liking it because I really liked it. I am currently reading Croak by Gina Tomeko? Tomeko? I don't know. Um, this one is one of the books that I got from Millie. I really like these words, and I'm like only a little bit into it. I'm reading kind of slow right now, but I was really excited to read it, and it looks good, and it looks hilarious. Everyone says it's so funny, so I'm looking forward to finishing it. We have This Is Not a Test by Courtney Summers. Um, first of all, I made my spiders flip because when we were at the blogger meetup, everyone was talking about it, and I just so curious, and so I made a buy it, and then I stole it from her before she could read it. Um, I'm excited because I know there's some mixed opinions. I know another blogger I know didn't like it, but then one of the librarian bloggers I know loved it, and I know a lot of people loved it, so I'm just really excited to read it and see what my opinion is going to be. A Poseidon by Anna Banks. This is the other book that I stole from Marissa because I wanted to read it because she loved it, even though the librarian blogger that I know didn't like it at all. But I'm excited to see what I'm going to think of it. And it's an art, but I think this one's already out. It's about mermaids, and I'm excited because I hardly ever get to read about mermaids. Temptation of Angel. Oh, there's a glare. Temptation of Angel by Michelle Zink. And this is the other book that I got from Millie and Millie D's Words because I love angel books even though I keep saying I'm going to stop reading them. I never do because I love every single one so I might as well just keep reading them. And it's kind of the bigger book and I'm really excited. I, the concept to me sounds really cool so I'm excited to read it. Have an arc of The Stentalers by Lauren Oliver. This one is supposed to be out in September, and it's middle grade, and I love middle grade, and I miss middle grade because I hardly ever read it. I should read it more, but I don't really. But I know that I didn't know about this book, and when I saw it at the conference, I was like, oh my god, and I freaked out, and I had to run and grab one, and then I had to get everyone else one who was standing in line for the Maggie C. Vodder signing. But it looks really good, and I love this cover. It looks so cute, and she said that this is not a sequel to her a middle grade book. It's a whole new book. I know some people are kind of confused on that, but I'm excited. 
and it's a beautiful by Suzanne Yen. I got the sequel, and I got the sequel when I was at ALA, I believe, and just because I love the cover, but then I had to buy this one, so I bought this recently, just a paperback copy, it looks really cool, another angel book, and a lot of people really liked it, and I've heard some amazing things about the sequel, Wants to Like It, which is what's coming up next, and I got Wants to Like It, this one is, came out just the other day, I think last week. And I just, I had to have it. Like, I love this cover. It's so cute. I just, I love it. I'm probably going to want to finish copy, but I'll probably wait until it comes out in paperback because I have paperback and it's beautiful. But it looks so good, and it's another angel book. And I'm sure I'm going to like it, even though I keep saying I should cut off angel books because I read so many of them. It's okay. I love them all. have an arc of Great Mercy by Robin Lefevers. Lefevers? I'm not sure how she pronounces it. But, um, Marissa adores this book, and everyone I know loves this book. Like, so many people love it. It's historical fiction, and I should read it. I should have read it a long time ago. Marissa's been talking about it forever, but I'm going to read it, and I'm not going to move it off the stack. If I change my stack, it's going to stay right where it is, because I need to read it so I can see what the big deal is. But the thing about this book is it's so oddly shaped. Like, it's very square, and the paper is so white you know that has nothing to do with how the story is gonna be i just like how oddly shaped it is looking forward to reading that because i really need to read more historical fiction have an arc of partials by dan wells this one is an arc but it's already out and it's a dystopian the first one in the dystopian trilogy and i just saw the cover for the other one the other day the glare is really bad i'm sorry that's from the tv but um, it's dystopian and it's kind of a bigger book. Look at that. So I'm really excited to read it. I love dystopian and I like it when my books are big. And I've read a lot about this book and I listen. It's really good. So I'm excited to read it. Maybe I should turn the TV off so the glare goes away. And lastly, we have Moon Glass by Jesse Kirby. I won this one when I was at the Texas Tea Party at TLA. And it was signed and I just went and I got it personalized because it was personalized. And I was at her signing, and I absolutely loved In Honor with all my heart, and so I figured I should read this one too. And one thing I absolutely adore about this book is how cute it is. Look at that. It's so cute. I love it when my books are pretty underneath them. And it's in the contemporary, and I've been saying I need to get more into the contemporary. So that was the last one, and I'm excited to read all of those books. That's kind of a big stack, and this is going to be a long video. But as usual, there's a pillow pet. There's actually a few pillow pets. Those weren't there in the last one. Perry and Franklin. You can see those in the background. And the paper grains that were there last time in Runny. Marissa had Runny in her video too. We both have one. But hopefully you will know who he is. If not, you should. And you should go read Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hook. So that we can like fangirl about it. Because I love that series. And those are all the odd distracting things oh and there's another pillow pet too Stella she has the bow and a tattoo dance yeah that's it for all the little distracting things and all the books keep an eye out for reviews and I'm sorry this video is so long hey bye